as well. All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to invite you up front with me, and we're going to see what's in our box and if we can learn anything about God and his word through what's in the box. Last week, we learned about pearls, and somebody put a, well, it it was a fake pearl, but somebody put a pearl on my desk. So thank you, whoever shared that with me. I appreciate that was fun. Oh, look at what we have. I love this. This is great. It's a sword, and it's not just any sword. This, I think, this looks like a Minecraft sword to me. It looks like it comes from the game of Minecraft. And hmm, let's see where, there are lots and lots of ways we could go with this. So what do we want to say? Let's do this one. There are swords in the Bible. There's a lot of swords in the Bible. And there is one passage that I really like that talks about a sword. And it says, this is in the New Testament. And it's in the book of Ephesians. And the book of Ephesians says that as Christians, we're in a war. It says as Christians, we have an enemy. We have someone who wants to discourage us. We have, there's an enemy who wants to tear us down. But the book of Ephesians says that God has given us weapons to defeat that enemy, to defeat that temptation, that discouragement. And it says that God has given us a sword And it is the sword of his word. It's the sword of the Bible. That what God says is for us a weapon. Because it reminds us of the promises that God has made us when we feel discouraged. And it reminds us of the commands that God has given to us when we are tempted to sin. And so I want you to remember this week that God has given you a sword And it is more powerful than the Minecraft sword. It's more powerful than the sharpest sword that any knight would use to fight in a battle. It is more powerful than any weapon that man can make. It is the power of God's word that he's given to us. That was a great sermon in a box. So I need to share this with someone else. 